welcome Cancer to your 2020 yearly reading. I've got the same layout as I did for last year doing the yearly readings. So we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So for you Cancer, for January 2020, you have the Ten of Swords, February the Ace of Swords, March the Tower, then we have the Lovers, the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles. In July, you have the Seven of Pentacles, August the Empress, then the Six of Cups, the Sun, the Three of Rods for November, and lastly, December 2020, the Ace of Rods. I think... 2020 is going to be a big year um, and not just for you Cancer, I feel the cards that I'm picking for the yearly readings, just the potential for big life changes is incredible in terms of the energy. So let's start here. I mean, wow, what a way to start the year. Um, some of you might already know I love I love some of these cards. This card I love. The reason why I love this one, uh, Cancer, is that 10 means it's an ending. But this isn't just any old ending. This is an ending of a difficult, painful, stressful cycle. Now, you know, for me, that's really good news. <laughs> I, I want to know about that. When I've had a difficult time, if I've been, could be any aspect of your life where you find, you know, you've really been finding that it's so hard, it's difficult, I can't take it anymore, I'm struggling, I'm battling, this is the end of it. So something might happen specifically in Janu January for you to know that this is at the end, or it might just be the recognition that you are closing a painful chapter in your life. Or it doesn't have to be painful, you know, really, really painful. It just might be outdated and outmoded, you know, Cancer, where you get to the stage where you think, this isn't me anymore. It was okay, but it's not me. And the more you do it, the more stressful it becomes. So, you know, you're done with it, basically. So this is a good thing. Let's have a look at February because a new thing opens up for you. The Ace of Swords, new starts, new beginnings. That's what aces are all about. New path opening up for you. You've got two. You've got this one here and then one in December. Great opportunity for new things opening up for you in 2020. This one in particular comes along and it doesn't surprise me because it's next to the Ten of Swords, comes along when you have had a tough time, stressful time, blood, sweat and tears to get to this new start and new beginning cancer. This wouldn't have been an easy path to tread, but tread it you have and you have made it. So well done for that. The crown on the top here means that you will be victorious and successful with this new start, this new beginning. <gasps> I'm so excited. That's lovely, isn't it? But look, it then leads into the Tower Energy for March, which talks about a massive life transformation. You can see in this picture, the tower is cracking, it's breaking. That's the breaking down of the old, of the stuff that you were done with. You didn't need it anymore, Cancer. You were, you'd had enough of it. It's like we were talking about here. And it has to collapse and break down because look at this incredible light just waiting to burst out of it. And this is you, this represents you. You cannot contain your light any longer. Your magnificence, your greatness, your innate ta talents and gifts, you can't, you know, it's just bursting. It's waiting to come out of you. And this is what the tower is all about. The thing is with the tower is it's really important to just let go of all of the old stuff, you know, just let go and surrender and open yourself. Keep an open mind and open heart as you go through, as you enter this new phase in your life. Now, we go into April with the lover's card. This could be a big choice or a decision. Um, 
because I'm just I'm just looking at the other energies here. I mean, absolutely. If you get some sort of invitation or offer or opportunity come through with these energies, you then might have to think, OK, I'm going to have to think about this. This is what do I do here? Um, so it could be you're being guided, you're being looked after, you're being protected with the lovers. It may also mean because this has been a battle for you and it's huge, that you get the chance to come back to yourself in a way that you haven't done before cancer. You, you, you know, so for example, if you're in a job that you didn't like and you get the chance to change in it, it's more you, you get to be more you, <laughs> you know, coming back to your higher self, the essence of who you truly are. The other thing is, is it could be a union of, of other sorts. So two people coming together, uh, someone new coming into your life, friend, a new colleague, new boss, new, new staff, employees, uh, lovers, all different people coming in. It will be a lovely relationship, wonderful connection, heart to heart, soul to soul, um, orchestrated by the divine here. So that's for April. It starts you off on a brand new start, new beginning, because this is what the pages are all about. It's the trigger point for the change. So I think, you know, something's ending, it's opening up here. Maybe you're deciding, maybe you're coming back to yourself and then you start anew, you start afresh. It feels like a different level to something, a different layer to something that's happening for you. I think you'll know what this is about. This is about good news as well. So here you could get the offer, the opportunity, the invite, the promotion, the proposal. It could come um, with the page of, of pentacle energy. It is going to have a very real practical application in your life, Cancer. This isn't something that's just, you know, spiritual, etheric, you know, in the ether. This is going to, you're going to be able to apply this into your life in some way. So very, very positive. Lots of success attached to the page of pentacles as well. June is telling me that you're on the right track, you're doing the right things, you're setting things up for the future cancer. Um, you're using your skills, your talents, your gifts wisely. This is working, this is happening. But this is at the start of something incredible and new. But what you're trying to do with this is create a really solid structure and foundation and base for yourself where you can in the future um, really reap the rewards. So this isn't just a, a new start that's going to be fleeting. You want this one to last and you're prepared to like do what it, you know, do what it takes to like make it happen. And this is setting things up for the future. But this is also to do with moving. So this comes along when you're moving jobs, like I said here, moving jobs or moving home, moving um, properties, uh, some sort of move or shift uh, that has a, a has some sort of effect on your money, prosperity and wealth here as well. That could be true for some of you. And July, oh Cancer, you just got to take care of yourself in July because Seven of Pentacles is a card that comes along when sometimes we can feel a bit exhausted and a bit overwhelmed and a bit tired. We're like, oh my God, there's so, I'm trying to do so much here. I'm working really hard. Um, will it ever end? Will I ever get to the end? And this is also a card to say, yes, you will persevere. What you've done is perfect cancer. Okay. Do not give up. Do not, <laughs> do not give up. Even though you might feel a bit exhausted and tired, it, it's right. It's the right thing to do. You're on track. It's working. You're just, you know, you just, it takes a little bit of time to undergo this incredible transformation and, and set these things in motion. Right, we then go into August. This is lovely. Um, <clears throat> with the Empress energy. Wow. Oh, a card of abundance and success. It's, a, it's an energy where this person is so in line with their heart and soul, their mission, their purpose. Um, 
very connected to the heavens, you know, or the universe or one consciousness, whatever you want to call it, and earth. They know how to bring heaven down to earth. Very in touch with their own innate gifts and talents. Very good at using them in the world. So they draw to them, you know, all of their dreams and desires. Very good with the law of attraction. Very good represents the mother as well so there could be some connections there to the mother and fertility and the interesting thing here with this energy this is a very fertile energy you've got the reconnections and then you've got the babies and the children here so you know for any of you really strong family connection here um, mother connection fertility connection pregnancy things going on here um, yeah beautiful but this is lovely this may be just be you in the empress energy and what that feels like is you know cancer when you're in such a good place and you're so happy and life is flowing and it's all working out and the door things are unfolding and you feel in the groove you know that's this <laughs> so you could just be feeling in a really good place that's august now, let's have a look at September. This is the Six of Cups. It may be you coming back to yourself because you've been in this energy. You had a little bit of, oh God, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm overwhelmed. But now you've got yourself back on track and now you're, you're reaching different levels and layers to reconnecting back to your higher self, your soul self, your heart self. Um, or it could be reconnecting and rekindling with other people, people from the past, family, friends, children, mothers, um, colleagues. Yeah, just anyone that you haven't seen for a long time. Also people from past lives, so soul connections, past life connections, um, soulmates, that sort of thing. But it will be lovely, wonderful and joyful. Can also represent um gatherings and social events uh, just yeah i think you'll love it whatever that is whatever shape and form it comes cancer just a gorgeous lovely loving energy and this is nice to move into into october the sun energy oh happiness joy fulfillment good luck good fortune you know this this sun is like when you have a sunny disposition things in your life are working you're happy your family is happy things are unfolding it just all seems to be lining up you know the stars are aligned you're ah oh, joy 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 so this is a lovely energy you, it can also connect to things in the card, like, as I've already said, the babies and the children. So there might be some connection here with gatherings and fertility and pregnancy and children and mothers. Um, but also the animals here. So there could be a connection here. And with the sun, there could be some links to travel as well for some of you here. So, so traveling, but it will be a happy time, a joyful time. You can see that little child on there like, you know, so just in, in total and utter bliss. That's what this feels like. You've got quite a blissful energy going on here. So this is August, September, October. Now we go into November. Lovely energy again, because this is someone that has started a process. They're on the path, like we've already said here, we're on the path of something. And they're waiting for their ships to come in, Cancer. And what they've done is good. It's right. It's the right thing. It's taking root. Um, it's solid and it's strong. And they've got a way to go, but they can see where they're going. They can actually see the ships on the horizon. They're coming towards them, Cancer. So something that you've been working on, creating, building, um, it's happening. It's taking root. It's taking seed. It's it's coming at you. It's coming for you, Cancer. So that's a really good, strong, positive thing. It's like the beginnings of success. That's what this represents. And I think December 2020, it sets you off on a brand new path. This is new starts, new beginnings, um, 
um, being given to you by the universe, by God, because uh, it, uh, it represents also a, a new start from God, from oneness. Um, with the rod or the wand, it can talk about enterprise, business, uh, but also your passion, um, what's important to you, heart and soul stuff, your mission, your purpose. I, I just feel that there's another level and layer opening up for you right at the end of the year there. You'll be so excited about it. It represents creativity as well. Um, so they, like all of these things are very strong for any of you, like with creativity, um, setting things up like businesses. It could be fantastic for new relationships. Um, family that can be very strong for family growing your family expanding your family but anything creative really yeah wonderful wonderful energies here for your creativity that sets you off on a new path so lots of opportunity there cancer loads of opportunity i think you'll be glad of this you know, it starts to really turn around here. And then I think by the un end of the year, you're kind of, it feels like you're more in your groove with your heart and soul being true to yourself here. You've got some endings here. But wow, what a year. <laughs> I hope it's a really good one for you. Thank you so much for watching.